Good morning everyone. When we talk about planting kingdom, then all the plants which can make their own food fall into this group. But some plants bear fruit while some don't. Appearances are also different and so are the structures. So many varieties are put together in a single category. Hence, further subcategorization was necessary. Let us see the five divisions into which the plant kingdoms are grouped. We already know that plants have the shoot and the root system. But there are few multicellular plants whose body do not have well differentiated distinct components like leaves, stems and roots. These are categorized in the division Thelophyta. The plants in this group are commonly called algae. These plants are mostly aquatic, for example, Spirogyra, Eulotrix, etc. Plants belonging to this division are called Thelophytes. Have you seen the moss plant? The body part is differentiated to form stem and leaf-like structure. However, there are no specialized tissue for carrying out water and other substances from one part of the plant body to another. That is, xylem and phloem vascular tissues are absent. So, they are given a different group named bryophyta. Plants belonging to this division are called bryophytes. These are also called the amphibians of the plant kingdom because they need water to complete a part of their life cycle. The next division is pteridophyta. The plants belonging to pteridophyta division have body that is differentiated into roots, stem and leaves. And they also have specialized tissue for the conduction of water and other substances from one part of the plant body to another. You know, these plants reproduce through spores, not through seeds. Plants belonging to this division are called pteridophytes. Marsilia, ferns and horse tails are pteridophytes. The plants in all these three groups that is Thelophyta, Bryophyta and Pteridophyta reproduce through spores and what are spores? The naked embryos are called spores. The reproductive organs of the plants in all these three groups are hidden and therefore they are called cryptogamy or those with hidden reproductive organs. So you can say the cryptogams are flowerless and seedless plants. On the other hand, plants with well differentiated reproductive tissues that ultimately make seeds are called phenerogams. Phenerogams reproduce through seeds like mango tree. As we know, the seed resides inside the mango fruit. But it is not true for all phenerograms. So, some bear naked seeds while other bear seeds inside fruits. Pines, deodor, etc. don't bear fruits. So, they are further given a subcategory, gymnosperms. So these are the plants that bear naked seeds. Gymno means naked and sperma means seed. So naked seed because they don't bear fruit to hide their seed inside. But a mango tree has fruits and seeds are hidden inside the fruit. So it is an angiosperm. Angio means covered. So Angiosperms means covered seeds. So they bear fruit 
to hide their seed inside it. Talking about the seeds, some have many seeds like watermelon, but few have only one seed and others may have two or more seeds. You know, plant in the seeds have structures called cotyledons. Cotyledons are called seed leaves because in many instances they emerge and become green when the seed germinates. So, on the basis of number of cotyledons present in the seed, the angiosperms are divided into two groups. If any angiosperm has seed with one cotyledon, it is monocot. For example, banana, pineapple, coconut, wheat etc. are monocots. Cot is the short form of cotyledon. And if any angiosperm has two cotyledons, it is a dicot. For example, mango, lemon, beans, nuts, pumpkin etc. are dicots. Now, how to know whether a flowering plant is a monocot or a dicot? If the venation in the leaves is parallel, that is, the leaf veins are parallel and the roots are fibrous, then the plant is a monocot. In the monocots, the flowers have petals in multiples of three. Whereas, if the leaf's venation is reticulate, that is, the leaf veins are branched and the roots are tap root, we say the plant is a dicot. In dicots, the flowers have petals in multiples of 4 or 5. So, now we know Plantae Kingdom has 5 divisions namely Thelophyta, Bryophyta, Pteridophyta, Gymnosperm and Angiosperm. So, of these Thelophytes, bryophytes and pteridophytes are cryptogams as they reproduce through spores. Whereas gymnosperms and angiosperms are phanerogams as they reproduce through seeds. Now you may be wondering how to classify plants into these five divisions. Well, it's a very structural approach. We go from very basic characteristics to more advanced characteristics which is found in more advanced plants. This we shall learn in the next class. Till then, bye bye.